Today, guys, I'm going to make a girl attack PO file picture in Blender. First, you're going to go into Vertex server and get this rig right here. This is Big Mark's rig, and if you want to download it, you want to click on it. Click Yep. And then, you want to scroll down here. All the way to the bottom. And this should say Google Drive. Click on it. And then click download right here in the top right corner. And you want to download it. Then when you download it, you should have it. Then you want to go back into Blender. And then you want to go to your files. Go to downloads. And then export it. Just click extract here. And it, it should just extract it, but I already have it. And then wait for it's done extracting. And then it should be somewhere in your folder, your files. Click file in the top left corner. Then click append downloads. And then you should look. I think it's called a monkey blend. Go to collection, gorilla, and there it is. And if you want to see it regularly, go to the material view. So now it looks like this. You want to move it around, you want to click on the rig, object mode, pose mode. Then you want to move the hands, you can move them like this. And you can move them. With, uh, if you want to rotate, you click R, and if you click R again, you can rotate it this way. And then click R again to go back to the normal. And if you click G, you can grab. So yeah, that means like grab it and move it around. So, take these two things. These, the one with the other hand. Not that. This box. So get your pose in. And then uh, when you're done, go back to this video. I'll make my pose while I'm waiting. Also, you can move these to come in the right position. And this. Now that you made your pose, you want to go to File. Actually, no. You want to go to your Discord. Go to your Texas, Grill Attack Files. And then you want to go up here and now you want to download the map scroll down to, to, to right here click on this and then click on this and download it and then wait for it to be downloaded it, should, it might take a bit when that's done downloading go back to blender file then you want to click append Go to downloads, scroll down, find it, it should be called the entire GTAG map blend. Open it, go to collection, then click maps, wait for it to load up, it might lag a little bit, and then here's the map. Now, click pose mode, object mode, click on your rig, then shift, and lower left click on the monkey body. Now, if you rotate your camera to the right like this, scroll out and then click G and then move your monkey towards the map over here and now in the top left corner of your screen click view navigation walk navigation now it's like a game use W A S and D to move around click shift to go faster and go to the map now that you're at the map, find where you want to pose your monkey at. I'm going to pose my monkey right between this bridge. And if you want to set a hotkey so you can do walk navigation easier, right click on it, then add a shortcut and make any key on your keyboard you like. And then click that button, 
and you should be able to go in walk mode. Okay, here you go. Now, now let's get out of post mode. Let's raise them up here. Rotate them. Okay. If you try to rotate them like this, though, his head might be like this. So that's you want to go to object mode. Go to pose mode. And click this line right here. Then you should be able to rotate it. So click R. Then click Z. And then move your mouse and with him towards this way, and then click, left click, the exact, now get out of pose mode, positional, and if, and if you are ever in him, and you just want to move him without getting out of, uh, getting out of pose mode, just click, the, just drag this, and you can move him, instead of doing that, and then, you have your position done, Kong, Bona, now, add any hat or color. If you want to add a color, click on the monkey. And then at the top of here, click shading. Now, you need to go to the monkey, so you can go into view, navigation, and walk mode. Or you can just click your shortcut. He did make one. Now, go over here. You can change the color. Let's make them blue. If none of these accessories are on here, uh, like if you want, like if you want to put one on here, you have to put the one to zero. If you want to make it look like it's actually going good. Go back to layout, click on the rig, pose mode, and then you gotta bend, you gotta bend these fingers, right here. Don't bend this one, because it's just the whole finger, and it'll look funky. So you wanna bend the third one. But make sure you bend it right, because if you don't bend it right, it's gonna look weird. What's exactly so grabbing it? Use these two fingers, bring these down. But it, dep it depends your position because it could look weird if you're in the wrong angle. You can move this on too, but I'm not gonna do that. Now you have your pose and all your hats on here. You can add more. But if there's a hat that's not on here, you have to download it, ask somebody in the GoTex server, right? The Blender community help? Or Blender help you try to ask someone for a uh, GoTex files? One of the hats that you want, and then when you get it, you want to go to File, Import, FBX. It should be there. But if it's not, Then uh, the texture shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be pink. But if you're gonna use the one, if you're gonna use the ones, the Google text stuff folder, it shows you. It gives you all the hats, like a lot of the hats, like all the normal hats. You should download those. You go to file, import, FBX. Go to your files. Find grill tag stuff. You go to hats. Let's say we want the skull mask. Then it's it's gonna start over here. You don't wanna bring it over here. Okay. It's gonna be pink, and we don't want it to be pink. The thing is, you have to position it right. So click R, Z, rotate it, and put it on his face. R, Z. Uh, 
nuts on his face. When you have him, him in the right position. Now, go to click on the hat. Go to shading. And go up here. Click the file button. Go to your downloads. Grill text stuff. Textures. Then click hatless PNG. Then it'll give it the color. And then you have your monkey. But now you need a camera. And don't use this camera because if you do, it will look really weird when you move it. Anyway, and if you did, it would do this. So now you want to go up here in this collection, click the search bar, look up cam, uh, cam, or uh, you want to find the camera that's using, and delete both of these cameras right here. And then you want to add camera. And then click the camera button right here. And then click view, navigation, walk navigation. Or click your key button. And now you want to go to the forest map. We're upside down. Oh, my bad. Get to your monkey. Let me rotate it back. Because it's probably not going to have this problem. And if you do, just do what I do. You want to rotate it by clicking R. Just keep getting until you're ready. Then you wanna, you wanna let, click your shortcut. We're just gonna view navigation, walk navigation. Get in the position you want. And you wanna go over here. Click on the TV. Make sure this is on GPU compute. And you can use a render on any of your cycles. This is what Eevee would look like if you render it. And cycles will be more detailed. Like this. But it won't exactly look like this. So I recommend rendering in cycles. And go down here. Where it says max samples. Put this to 64. Or 128. It depends on how good your PC is. Or how detailed you want it to be. I want to put mine at 128. Actually, 64. Then, you either go to render for another image or use the shortcut F12. And you'll start rendering it. Then, when this up here hits 64, you will be done rendering it. So, while it's rendering, go to your files and then add a file. To down here. Well, you want to make a new folder. And then you want to make a new folder, put it, and then you want to have it. I call my secret stash, I don't know why. Then click image. Oh shoot, hold on. If it some hats it might not work because there are not no render. They're not. You don't have this checked on it right here. So if it does not, go to the search bar here. Look up. Look it up. So I'm wearing the candy cane. Then you see this right here. This is not on. Make sure that's on. Now you're gonna have to re-render it. And then it'll be there. And when it's done rendering, you're gonna click image. Then you wanna click save as. I'll show you. This is done rendering. Now, when it's done rendering, you want to click image, save as, go to your folder, so it must likely be down here. Probably not up here. Then, you want to name it, whatever you want. Then, make sure you put dot png. P-N-G. I meant. Then you want to save it, and then there you go, you have your profile picture. The lighting might be weird though, so if you do want to fix the lighting, I recommend just kind of like turning, just fixing the lighting, mess with the lighting a little bit, and yeah, and it'll probably get better, and better eventually. Now when you have your profile picture, 
you can just go to your thing, your profile. And then you just want to change your profile. Then you just want to change your profile pictures. Then you just want to change your profile pictures. Go to that folder. And you want to find it. Right here. And you want to just open it and put it as your profile picture. Or if you're not doing like a profile picture, you can go to Vertex Server. And go into these. And then post it here. Yeah, and then boom. I'm not getting posted though. And that's how you make a profile picture. I will show you how to do better lighting in the next video I make for the tutorials. This is just part one. So I hope you guys like it. Thank you, and bye. Please like and subscribe if, you, if this helped you. Bye.